and welcome to another studio vlog. If you're new here, my name's Kristen and I'm a full-time artist and illustrator based in Salt Lake City, Utah. This video is a week in my life as I prep for two art markets in one weekend, something I've never done before. It's a fun one, so grab some tea, maybe your sketchbook, and let's go. Hi, welcome to the vlog. I'm kind of sweaty. I just took off my bike helmet. Here's the deal. I have two art markets this weekend, one on Saturday and one on Sunday. So I thought I would take you along with me for the entire week leading up to what is bound to be kind of a crazy time. My partner and I went on a little camping trip this weekend to the desert in Southern Utah. We went to Capitol Reef National Park and did some desert exploring. We did some off-road driving. It was really fun and fulfilling. I feel very very refreshed and inspired after spending a couple of days in the desert with no cell service. is paint but I have some stuff to do to get ready for the markets number one is that I have to paint a bunch of magnets I am making a ton so hopefully I have enough for both markets I'm really not sure what the deal is gonna be I am standing here next to this painting that I started last week I took this reference photo while I was at my artist residency in Montana I think it would be really great if I could get this painting finished this week today's mo is just paint a bunch of magnets I should tell you that. All the bison are painted. I love how they're all slightly different. It's my favorite thing about painting them. Yeah, now they just need to be glazed. I've gotten a couple comments about how I glaze my hand-painted magnets, and I just use a UV resin, the one that I use is from Michaels. I cure them in the sun. You can get a UV lamp that's like intended for curing resin, but I find that it's really slow. The surface area isn't very big. I just put them on like the sidewalk, and it protects the paint, it protects the clay, it just makes the whole piece like stronger in general. I just use this light cure UV resin from Signature Crafts. I don't know, I haven't tried different ones. Maybe other ones are better. If you have one that you like better, let me know. But this one works for me and you just have to make sure that you are wearing proper equipment. So you definitely have to wear rubber gloves. I wear a respirator and I open my windows. 
I just finished all the bison and all the salmon magnets and I'm very tired now. A lot of time spent hunched over the desk like a shrimp. The only thing that makes me feel better after being hunched like a shrimp is laying flat on the hard floor. I would recommend it. I fear that I'm gonna become one of those old ladies that just has that aggressive hump in their upper back. I should probably start going to yoga again or working out or something because I spend a lot of my time just literally shrimped up in a shrimpy little ball. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I got a new tattoo. There's probably a better way that I could show you this. I got a tattoo. It took like five and a half hours and it's a snake and some flowers. I really overextended my expectations of what I thought I might be able to accomplish today. Just painting magnets and getting them glazed is definitely good enough for now. Okay. <sighs> I went out into the alleyway to cure some of my magnets. There's like a beam of light that was coming in through the alley and a couple of things happened. One is that a man, a very nice man with a large beard glanced at me standing sort of self-consciously next to my bison and he said, let the buffalo roam. And to that I said, thank you. Not sure if that was the right response in retrospect, but it's what I said. Another thing that happened is that a very nice young boy with a Polaroid took this picture of me. I'm not sure why this was my go-to pose. It's sort of dejected, it's giving mug shot. With that, I am done here. I'm gonna ride my bike home. Tuesday done. Hello and good morning. It is currently Wednesday, October 25th, 2023. I've been watching a lot of Kathleen Illustrated videos. She puts her little wireless mic on the end of a little stick. So I decided to copy her because I think she's cool. And if you're not watching Kathleen Illustrated videos, you should do that. She is really cool and fun and entertaining and she does a lot of thrift store stuff and she's also an artist. So I'm gonna glaze everything that I have painted so far and then I'm gonna get to painting this pile over here in the corner. So many bison. dot these in a way that feels random enough and natural enough. I don't know how Mother Nature does it. So it's 4 p.m. I am finished painting all of the trout and I am currently faced with a conundrum. It is like 70 degrees out right now. It's partly cloudy, but it's mostly sunny, which means that it would be very easy to glaze and cure all the rest of the magnets, but my back, my neck, and the like in between my shoulder blade right here, if you were a chronic drawer or painter. I feel like there's this very specific pain. It's like right behind your shoulder blade. So I have that going on. And it's also just like so nice out and the leaves are changing. And one of my favorite places to bike, it's open to cars on even days and bikes on odd days. And today happens to be an odd day. And I happen to have a group dinner at 6 p.m. and it's 4 p.m. I could stay and finish the magnets or I could do what is probably better for my body and stop. So I think I'm gonna call it for the day and go for a bike ride. I think I'm gonna be late to my thing, but I think this was worth it also. Okay. So we were thinking of doing a show that was called Tack. 
Hi, today's Thursday. I found some free rugs. My studio is in a building with a bunch of other artists and I think somebody is moving out. So I'm actually gonna put these in my studio. I think they're perfect, free. One of them has a stain on it, but that's all right. It's an art studio. Just put them back out in the hallway if I don't like them. It's about 1 p.m. and I spent the whole morning updating my print shop. I haven't mentioned this in a video, but I have moved my entire online print shop to a fulfillment service. I've been wanting to do this for a long time, especially because I do art markets. It's really hard to keep inventory. And then also if I'm doing markets pretty consistently, I usually have to close my shop. I am using this fulfillment service called Pigeon Print House. And as a small business, it's run by like a husband and wife and they're based in California. I really wanted to avoid Printful or Redbubble. I don't know. All those like print sites, I've seen prints from there and they're just like not very good quality. I wanted something that was more like artist quality. I was just having a really hard time fulfilling orders. I'm so happy that I'm doing it this way. I literally just updated my online shop and I've got a couple orders already. And instead of feeling this like pang of panic, every time I get an order, I'm like, oh yay, cool. I know that Vanessa over at Pigeon is gonna fulfill that when she gets around to it. Her job is to run the print shop. My job is to make the art. I just wanted to let you guys know too that my print shop is just gonna be open. So like if you wanna get a print, it's gonna be up there and you can get it literally whenever you want and it's gonna be shipped with love from Pigeon. So I'm so excited. I did sign up to be an affiliate for them. They're not paying me at all to say this. I'm gonna put a link down in the description if you guys are also artists and you have a print shop. I think I get like a small commission and you get a discount if you use the link that they gave me. So yeah, I didn't really film any of that because it's kind of boring. The sun came out. It was kind of snowy almost and drizzly this morning, but it is sunny now as you can tell by the rainbows on the wall at the farmer's market a couple weekends ago i met a new friend her name is amanda green and she makes beautiful pottery we had a conversation at the market about how i've really been wanting to get into ceramics but really can't afford to like spend that much time making objects when like really all I want to do is make the vessels and then paint on them. We were like, we should do a collab. So she is going to drop off like eight mugs for me to paint on. Um, and she uses like colored slip. I took a ceramics class in college. I don't really do that well with like 3D spaces. I'm not very good at 3D, making 3D objects, but I love painting on 3D objects. So yeah, I'm having a good day. I'm thriving. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so here's my mugs. I'm so excited to paint on these. They're so big. She got me eight mugs and I have this little basket of colored slip. So yeah, I'm excited to work on this. I don't know if I'll get to it this week. Excited. Hearing my magnets in the strangest spot right now. Alrighty, all of the magnets are officially done. I kind of like how the fish look on this tin foil. It's sort of like how you would cook a fish. Take one, here. Oh, thank God that took so long, but hopefully that's enough for both markets, the Saturday one and the Sunday one. I think I am gonna work on my cow painting. A couple weeks ago, I bought these golden slow dry acrylics. So I'm gonna try those out. They're so dusty. Gotta remember to put my lens cap on. I always forget to do that.
Friday. Tomorrow is the bison roundup at Antelope Island State Park, which is on the Great Salt Lake. Basically, there's a bunch of bison that live on the island. Not to be a bison snob or anything, but they are not buffalo. A bunch of horseback riders come from all over and round up the bison so they can get health checked for the year. Hence why I made a million bison magnets this week. It's really cold today. It's also gonna be really cold tomorrow, which is why I'm wearing all my ski base layers and these thermal denim workwear overalls from Dovetail. I have to put cardboard backings in all my prints. I always think that isn't gonna take very long, but it usually takes longer than I think it will. I have to package some greeting cards. Everything else is sort of like, if it gets done, it would be nice. Are you seeing this rainbow right now? What was I saying? Oh yeah, I have to make a little image that I can share on social media promoting my Patreon. Also, it's Halloween, not right now, but on Tuesday. And I don't have a costume, but I do have a lot of things that I think could become a costume. I really wanna make a bolo tie inspired by one of Georgia O'Keeffe's paintings. And I think I have time to do that today. I made this little clay piece earlier this week. I have like a black felt hat, but honestly, I'm kind of leaning towards this painting. Okay, I think I actually might do this one. Don't these look like eggs? This one will want to. This is gonna be so fun to paint. I should do like a big study of this. Brush strokes and colors and stuff is making me feel some type of way. Okay, but I can't spend too long on it. I need to glue the backing on before I start painting. Okay, great. Turn towards the sun this way. The well, other way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not. Is this your, all your art? Small group of writers that are like pros. Uh -huh. And then there's a whole bunch, you know, that are, you know. Do you think they're pro, like, ranters or pro oh, yeah. rodeo riders? No, ranchers. Ranchers, yeah. So as you can see from those clips, it was extremely windy, um, very, very cold, and kind of unpleasant. The market at the Bison Roundup was actually the first market I ever did last year, so this is kind of like my market anniversary. I'm really glad that last year was my first time doing it and not this year because I would have been very discouraged. I didn't make very many sales and I ended up having to take my canopy down because it almost blew away. Luckily, it's a fun enough event to just kind of be at, so I had a great time regardless and got to see so many of my friends that ended up making like a little more than $200, which is actually the worst I've ever done at a market. <laughs> Oops. 
That night, I ended up going to a Halloween party with my friends Matt and Fiona. I almost didn't go because of the back-to-back -back markets, but I love Halloween and I really wanted to go to this shindig, so I'm glad that I did. And Sunday morning was the Black Cat Market, which was so fun and definitely made up for the losses on Saturday. I got to see Brie and some of my other market friends, and I made really good sales this day. I made almost $1,000, which is a more typical market day for me. <laughs> Do you have anything new that you made for this, or is it just like... Kind of just everything. Alright, little fish. I'll give you a little bag. Do you want to do cash card or vent? Sounds good. Thank you, have a good day. I love the color of your puffy. I feel like Thank you. you don't see fun colored puffies like... We're always black. Which ones are you thinking? Yeah. Yeah, it's for content. I literally came here from the East Coast to come see a little tiny egg in person. Oh my gosh, you made it. Where'd you come from? And I got this cute little egg charm. Welcome to the end of the video. I have been chilling so hard for the past couple of days after the events that have transpired in this video. Before we end the video, I wanted to say a couple of things. One is that I recently downloaded this app called Five Calls and it tells you exactly who your representatives are and their phone numbers and gives you a little script for various issues. Right now, um, I'm calling my representatives about calling for a ceasefire in Palestine. The app makes it really easy. It gives you a script and the phone number to call and I'll put the link in the description for that. There's a lot of craziness going on in the world right now, um, so I hope you're okay wherever you are. If you like this video, you might like some of my other videos. You also might want to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And maybe you want to leave me a comment telling me what you did for Halloween. I'm very curious. I ended up dressing up as Georgia O'Keeffe for that party, but didn't get any video of it, so... Here's a picture of me as Georgia O'Keeffe. But yeah, I'm gonna stay on the couch probably for the rest of the day and I will see you in the next video. Nora, do you want to say goodbye?